Hey everyone, I'm Patrick with Battleborn Batteries and today we're here to discuss our new internally heated battery, the BB112H. We'll cover what comes in the box when you buy one or more batteries, we'll cover the setup and installation, and we'll also go over some frequently asked questions. First, let's go over what you will get in the box when you receive your BB112H. You will get your Battleborn 12 volt, 100 amp hour heated battery, your heat battery kit, your finish bolt kit, and your heater enabled jumper wire. If you buy more than one heater battery, you also receive an add-on kit. Let's go over the installation of one heated battery, starting first with connecting the negative terminal. Using a half inch wrench, a half inch socket, and a torque wrench set to 10 foot pounds, let's torque down this connection. Next, let's do the positive connection. It's important to note here that with your heater enabled jumper wire, you want it to go in between the washer and the nylon. Take your positive terminal connection, put your washer in the 5 16 side of your enable wire and next to the nylon. Using our half inch wrench and our torque wrench, let's go ahead and torque down this connection. Now that our connection is torqued down, please note that this wire is live at 12 volts, so avoid any contact with other live wires or grounds. Also note that this enable post is not current carrying itself, so this connection should not spark when you make contact. To enable your internal heat battery, remove the screw, place the other end of your jumper wire down onto the post. Do not over tighten this connection but tighten enough to where you engage the lock washer feature on the ring terminal itself so that vibration does not rattle it loose. Now that our connection is tightened down, the internal heating function of the battery is enabled. If you plan on winterizing your RV or not using your vehicle for a long period of time and you want to disable the heating function, go ahead and remove this wire, tape this connection up so that it doesn't rattle around and make contact with other live wires or grounds, and put your screw back in your enable post so you don't lose it. Let's go over how to enable multiple heated batteries in a parallel connection. One way is to have an individual jumper on each battery connection. Simply unscrew Place your heater enabled jumper down onto your enable post. Connect your second jumper. With both jumpers connected, both batteries heater functions are now enabled. To disable, simply remove the connections. Another way to enable the heat function of multiple batteries is to daisy chain. When you buy one or more BB112H, you will receive an add-on kit. In your add-on kit is a 14 inch jumper wire, a five millimeter long screw, and then some ring terminals and heat shrink in case you wanna make your own harness. Starting here, we'll keep the original screw and we'll install it onto the enable post. Next, taking our M5 or our five millimeter long screw, we'll run our jumper 
to the next battery, remove the screw that came with it, place it through your daisy chain, and then through your main jumper, and install onto the enable post. Do not over tighten, but tighten it firmly enough to engage the lock washer capabilities. With this setup, both of the internal heating functions of the batteries are now enabled. One of the most unique features of the internally heated BB112H is that the enables can be daisy chained even in a series configuration. All you need to do is find the terminal that is at the highest voltage. In this case, we have a 24 volt system, and here, this terminal is at 24 volts. This is where my main jumper for the heater enable will occur. We'll take the jumper from the add-on kit. We'll connect it to the battery in the back here. Using our five millimeter long screw provided with the add-on kit, let's remove the four millimeter pass it through your daisy chain wire, and then pass it through your main enable jumper, and connect. The internal heating function of both batteries are now enabled. Provided in this kit is two 25 foot wires and a switch. Starting with the wire with your heater enable post, it's the smaller ring terminal. Go ahead and let's remove your jumper now. Let's take the 5 16 25 foot wire and go ahead and install that now. Remember to torque down to 10 foot pounds. Next, let's remove from the heater enable. Keeping your five, five millimeter screw, take the 25 foot wire with the smaller ring terminal, place your screw through and install onto the enable post. Please note that this wire is live at 24 volts in this system, so just be aware of that as you feed this through to your end location. In the kit, you have a threaded body, single pole, single throw switch. Remove the plastic nut. Take the wires you just connected Run them through the nut with the teeth of the nut facing forward. This is where you would install your switch through the panel, connect the disconnects. It does not matter which one you plug onto which terminal. And then thread the plastic nut onto the body and tighten it down. Once your switch is installed, the circle on the switch means that the circuit is open. When the circuit is open, the heat functions are disabled. To enable the internal heat functions on the batteries, simply flick the switch on, and now the internal heat functions for both batteries are enabled. Using this daisy chaining method allows you to hook up multiple batteries, whether in series connections up to 48 volts, parallel connections, or series parallel connections allowing you to enable or disable the heat functions on multiple batteries from one single point. Thank you for watching this installation video. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. And always remember, get out there, stay out there.